Hi, for this recording I want to look at how you could um, draw a golf ball in on shape. Um, it won't have the exact number of dots on there but you can get an approximate idea about how it could be done if you wanted to have all the single little dots on there but you'll get a good idea about it. Okay, so to start off with I'm going to need to have a new um, sketch tool, or sorry, a new um, part studio to work with. Um, okay, you can probably do that with a new document. I'm going to start on the front work plane and put a sketch on the front work plane and press N so I'm looking straight at it. I'm going to start by drawing a circle from the center. Okay, and this is going to have a specific diameter of 42.7. Okay, 42.7. Zoom right in, drag it to the center. Take your line drawing tool, start from the center, and we're just going to put a line coming to the edge here and then another line from the center to the edge vertically, like so. Okay, so we've, we've um, de defined a quarter here. And then we'll take our scissors and cut out that part of the circle. So we're left with just a quarter of our circle, our original circle. I want to then take our revolve tool, make sure you're on solid, that you're on the faces of sketch one, which is this, and the axis is going to be your upright here. The vertical line there, and there we have a semi sphere created. Okay, there. Okay, now right, we're going to do another sketch on the front work plane. So click on the front work, work plane, click on sketch, press N so you're looking straight at it, and zoom right in to the top of the, of the semi um, sphere. We're going to use our use button here. I'm going to click the edge of the circumference of the um, semi sphere there. Okay, so we're going to use this part. Then take your line drawing tool from the point where it starts at the top, draw a line down, and that needs to be one millimeter deep. Okay, one mil. Press escape. Then take your, now next door to the circle, there's an arc tool here. You want the three point arc. Out of the three that are there, it's the top one. I'm going to start from the lower end of our one mil line and just edge towards the top here until you hit that circumference click okay just make sure that's still on there okay that's good now we're not going to change the dimension just yet because i want to actually just attach this onto this line here first so we're going to use our coincident tool click on that line and then click on the vertical line that you can see so that will then move that onto that point for us so it says it is now coincident to it now we'll take our um, dimension tool and just set the dimension for the arc. We want this to be 2.25, okay? Okay, so we've got two locked positions. So we've got this, this point and this point here that are locked. And now we've got a, um, a radius here for the arc of 2.25. Perfect, okay? So um, we should then be able to take our Revolute, so Revolve tool rather, and if we look, that's already picked up this region. So let's use the top edge of our circumference here and the straight edge and the arc we've just created. And the revolve axes will be the vertical line, the one mil vertical line. Okay. Okay. Um, why is that blind? Is it not totally oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Because we wanted to actually the same that because it doesn't know what it's actually growing this from. We actually want it to be removed from it. That's fine. Wait on remove, then it will do the dimple. That's fine. Okay, just a warning message that's telling you that the it can't merge with everything. Green tick. So we've got our first dimple in place. That's fine. Okay. So next, um, we're going to bring back. Um, we're going to go back to our top work plane and put a new sketch on that. Okay. And what I want to do. Let's press N for this. We're going to put a construction line coming through the center this way, and the center going this way. So from top to bottom and left to right. So New line, construction, start from the edge here, and go across until you meet the other edge there, construction line, press escape, then do the same action going the opposite direction, so from the top to the bottom there, and that's done, press escape, so we've got a two construction lines drawn, green tick that. And now we're going to do another one, this time on the front work plane again, so find the front work plane, which is this one again. I'll put a new sketch on that, and this is going to be, be a construction line again. There. And this time it's going to go from the center going upwards. So if we look at it from there, it's going to go upwards until it goes beyond 
the um, the sphere. That's fine. It's just going to be used as, a, as an axis later on, so that's fine. Press escape. Okay. So now we have three construction lines added to our drawing. Brilliant. Let's green tick that. Okay. So then now we can start to model out our, um, our path to get the dots in place. We're going to use a patterning tool for this. And what I'm going to use is the um, uh, not that one. We want to use this one here. This one. We want to use the circular pattern. Circular pattern. Okay. So we're going to be um, dropping down from the list here and choosing feature. And the feature that we're going to um, to um, pattern is going to be this dimple here. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. And then the axes for the pattern. Okay. The axes for the pattern is going to be um, the line coming through here that's under the right work plane. So this, this um, construction line here. So select that. Okay. Now by default what has happened is placed four extra circles. We put one here, one here, one here, and then back to here. We don't want it to be there. We want it to be only 15 degrees away. So instead of 360, set it to 15. And the number of instances you want is just two. Okay. All right. And then green tick. And that should place a circle here that's 15 degrees down the side of the, um, the semisphere here. Right. Select your new circle. Do the same thing, circular pattern. Okay. The axes for the pattern is going to be um, RNA. You might find the sketch has hidden itself because we've used it. So let's just I'm going to show that sketch again. That's it. So we want to use this line again. Okay, there. Yep. And um, we want that to be, um, and that's going to be uh, three, it's going to be 15 degrees. Yeah. And we only want two instances, two instances there. Okay. And we don't want the part, it's going to be feature again, feature, and that's going to be our circle there. There we are, I think, up there. Okay, right, green tick that again. Right, I'm going to do that again, so circular pattern. Okay, it's going to be made sure we're on feature. The feature we're going to look at is the new circle we've just added there. The axes is going to be this axis here. Okay, we want to have two instances, and we want the number of degrees to be 15 again. Okay, there. Okay, repeat again. So circular pattern, make sure you're on feature. Select the last circle that was drawn. The axis is going to be the horizontal line here. Okay, set this to 15 degrees and the number of instances is two. Okay, there. Now we could have patterned this all the way through in one go, but I want these to be independent of each other. Okay, this is important that they're independent for later on. So let's take the last circle and circular pattern it. The axis is going to be our horizontal line here. Okay. And the number of or the number of degrees is 15, and the number of instances is two again. Okay. There we go. Last one. So circle, circular pattern. Make sure that you are on um, feature rather than part, otherwise it will try to do something peculiar. And um, the part that you want to, to pattern is this circle here, yeah. And the and the axis for the pattern is this one here. And that should ooh, what's happened somewhere? Something's gone funny here. Let me just close that off. I suspect on here. Yes, I didn't select feature. What am I doing? So that should have been the feature. My mistake. There, that's better. Right, last one. So let's take this. We'll take uh, change this to feature. Make sure we've got the last one there. Axis is going to be the horizontal line again. Um, set this to 15. And the number of instances is 2. There we have it. Green tick. Bingo. So that's just given us a half one here. That's fine. Okay. Right. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 instances, but they're all independent um, patterns that we've done. Our first one is obviously um, sketch 3. Sorry, sketch two rather is our first one. And then these ones are patterns, repeated patterns of that shape. Okay, right. So next thing, we're going to use our circular pattern again, but this time we're only going to pick the, the top one. So this is going to be again feature. Okay, grab the top circle. Okay, and this time the axes that we're going to use is the upright um, part here, upright there. Okay, All right. Um, that's going to be our axes. Make sure you're on axes when you select that there. Okay. 
And the number of instances we want um, is six. Okay, six instances. Okay. Oh, actually, now I've chosen the wrong one. It should be sorry, that circle there, because we're going to revolve. That's it. There you go. Then it goes around that center one. That's it. Okay. So 360 degrees, number of instances, six. Green tick. Right, so this one next. So select circuit pattern. So this circle here, make sure you're on feature. This circle. Okay, so right in. The axis is the upright, which has just hidden itself. There, that's the one. So there. Okay. And we want to have a number of instances, and this needs to be 12. 12 instances, okay, and green tick. That should give us 12 instances going around. Brilliant, okay. Then we'll take our circuit pattern again, pick feature from our drop down, select the next circle, okay. The axis is going to be the middle one here, okay. Um, we want to have this time 18 instances, 18 instances, okay. Pattern that out, good. Green tick. Okay, next one, circular pattern. Grab the circle, so that's this one here, so make sure you're on feature. Grab the circle, okay. Um, we want to have the axes as being upright there, and the number of instances is going to be 20, 21, I think. I think it's 21, let me just check. 21? Yes, 21 looks good. Okay, 21, All right. Okay, next one, so we're going to grab our circular pattern. Make sure you're on feature. Select the next circle. Make sure the axes are selected. This one here, so the upright line. The number of instances this time is going to be 24. 24 instances. Okay, yep, that's good. Okay. Next one, so circular pattern. It's going to be feature. Okay. The feature to pattern is going to be the last um, circle here. That one there. Make sure you get that the outer edge. The axis is that axis there, and the number of instances we want this time is twenty-seven. I think twenty-seven should do. Let's check. Yes, that works out okay. There we are. Okay, so then now, right? So we've got our semisphere patterned out with our shape on top, which looks really good. So then now we could mirror this. So let's use. Let's set this to our mirror tool. So mirror tool is this one here for this, because we're going to uh, mirror a part. The entity to mirror is part one, and the mirror plane we're going to use is the top work plane. So top work plane. Now we select it from here, or we can select it from here. Let's grab that there. And that should mirror that to give us our complete ball. Look at that. Wow. Okay, there. Let's hide our work planes from it, just so we can see. That's looking pretty good. Okay, but um, the edges are a little bit sort of sharp at the minute. I'd like them to be rounded off a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my very first one here. Okay, this one here, that one. Okay. Um, uh, actually, no, I'm going to select the whole surface. Yeah, I'm going to select the whole surface. I'm going to select this whole surface here. I'm then going to take my fillet tool here. I'm going to set the, the radius for the fillet to be um, 0.5 millimeters. We'll see how that looks. Okay, and then we'll green tick and see what happens there. Have we got any errors? Is it going to do it for us? That's a lot of, oh yes, we've got a nice little dimple there. Let's make that a little bit larger. Let's make that into uh, one mil. Let's see what the effect of that is. That might be a bit too much. Green tick that. How does that look? Oh, actually that looks quite good. You can't see the full effect really because um, we've still got our lines in place. So I'm going to just um, on here, I'm going to hide. Um, that's going to put shaded without edges on. There we have that. Looks okay actually. That looks good. Right. We've still got our construction lines coming through here, which is sketch three and four. So I'm going to hide that and hide that. And I think we'll also hide the origin as well. Okay, there's the origin. Let's hide that. There we have our golf ball in all its glory there. It looks quite cool. Okay, good luck when you finish that. Um, let me know. Very good.